I don't know. What else do you think we should sort of highlight here? I think uh, Luigi's up smash is a big move here. Just like that wave dash forward up smash right off the bat. It's kind of the best way to contest an air. Uh, it just like beats stuff outright, partially because of the headman's ability, partially because mm -hmm. it's just a really good hitbox. Um, and it's a great combo starter as well. So if Luigi can kind of threaten that space pretty well with like preemptive up smashes. And sometimes he'll just wave dash forward and charge the up smash. And it cuts like, oh, oh. my god, a conversion <laughs> all the way to the knee off stage. Caught the double jump too. Really yeah. clean. Ouch. All right, so we're seeing a lot of the use of the up smash to, to start things off for Mad Tyro, um, but also a lot of choice to just sort of do a short hop aerial and catch Falcon coming in. Yeah, I always think of Luigi's have this dichotomy with like a short hop aerial in place with his way dash forward and one move forward. And mm -hmm. he has like different hitboxes he likes to use in different matchups, but that dichotomy of like short hop aerial in place or way dash forward tends to mm -hmm. exist in every matchup. And in this matchup, it's to be way back forward, uh, up smash, or some sort of show off forward error back here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, usually you talk about like the down smash coming out of Luigi, mm -hmm. but in this matchup, it's it's much more about the up smash with yep. the dash. Exactly. Yeah, Ooh, and we see he's like both stomp and air, right? Oh my god, mm -hmm. this is some Tyro stuff. He's posting so many pictures <laughs> like this on Twitter. Like, so consistent that the platform cancels and uh, a lot of different, like, because Luigi can do it on multiple air. <laughs> Ooh, and that was a really cool edge guard there by Reach. A sort of pretty specific uh, tech. Luigi's love to use the fireball to try to protect uh, their recovery. And Falcon goes out and just hits the fireball and Luigi with the up air yeah. at the same time. So uh, that that's going to be a big one to watch out for going forward. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of just flying through the fireball. Because <laughs> <It's like, laughs> some Luigi's will like do ledge hop fireball to come back on stage or something. You can just plow through that fireball as well. You can just, like, mm. It doesn't actually protect him. And like most characters have a hitbox that just like, goes through it and then also hits him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's definitely meant to protect the next interaction, right? It catches you for not going out there. So yep, there exactly. is a little bit of a mix-up, right? Because Luigi could have, like, thrown out a fair or something. And that yeah. might be something we look for Mad Tyro to do later. Oh, gets caught by a Nair. We talked about how that's a pretty risky option for Falcon. But man, when he connects it, the reward is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's like, still his bread and butter, right? Like, Captain mm -hmm. Falcon. Like, even though... Luigi can call it out with a perfectly timed up smash sometimes. It's still really hard to just contest mm. Nair in place, fade back Nair, forward Nair. You know, like, there's so many different ways to do it. It's such a versatile move. Luigi had a really good recovery there to kind of claim back the lead here. Luigi yeah. Can, uh, gain anything here. Definitely a painful reversal for Reach on the other hand, though, right? Like, mm -hmm. that that really should have been Falcon's stock. It should be 2 to 1 the other way. And it's these individual critical reversals that we talked about, th talked about throughout the day that uh, can really set the pace of a match and, and matter more than anything else yeah because sometimes it doesn't even set the pace it just decides the match mm -hmm. <laughs> you know like like the pace could be in favor of one player but the other player killed you twice on the reverse that's it mm -hmm. that's the ball game you know? so yeah and I, I feel like we're sort of seeing that here in, in a lot of cases mad tyro sort of pulling back some of the pacing right now with yeah. a really aggressive last stock but throughout the game reach has really felt in control great drift to get around the fair but the trade doesn't even Dang. let him get a chance Ooh. That was so strong seeing Luigi's aerial smash attacks be more relevant mm -hmm. than Captain Falcon's, you know, Nair and up air at 50% or something. So mm -hmm. really good stock for Mad Tyro to kind of come back and uh, kind of look like it was off to a bit of a rough start. Uh, mm -hmm. Reese looked like he had a lot of control, but Mad Tyro with those critical punishes, critical reversals, and kind of clutch factor in the mm -hmm. end there to take game one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like, it, you know, you talk about the the two stock swing, right? What? Mm hmm you're edge guarding somebody and then you it gets reversal and you end up dying um not only did you lose a stock but they didn't lose a stock so uh you know obviously if reach gets that back it's a very very different game yeah this is an interesting counter pick i mean canonically luigi's best stage right but it also simplifies his game plan a lot more and uh so if falcon feels like he can kind of control luigi a lot better he might be down to just come here and and oh do some of these combos yeah, and Reach has really been finding those big hits, right? Like the, the continuation aerials that aren't like totally guaranteed and it has to be like a DI read or, or catching mm -hmm. a double jump. Reach has been really great at those. There you see him go for the double jump on the knee. Mm -hmm. uh, Matt Tyro, very uh, very careful to not go for that double jump. Gets caught on the roll up anyway. Four stocks to three. Yep. Oh, really fast wave land off back air. Very clean from Matt Tyro to close that out. Just like that, we have a tight game. But the invincibility, once again, being super impactful, finding four up airs in a row. Immediately getting to 63%. The juggles are pretty brutal on the stage. Ooh. I really like the choice by Reach to not go for the grab, recognize the spot dodge is coming, but the timing mm -hmm. just barely not there, doesn't get the kill, but 
catches the air dodge anyway, and Luigi, ha notorious for having like no aerial drift, just yeah. falls to his death. Yeah, the air dodge is the the benefit. Oh my god, that was a really good smash down the jab reset there. But yeah, the his air dodge lets him grab the ledge like immediately. So sometimes you'll see like tricky stuff where he'll air dodge like on top of the ledge. But that one was really high, and Captain Falcon was able to kind of just react and punish him here, finding the Shoryuken and finishing off that stock. Now we have two stocks apiece with barely any leads. Yeah, and Mad Tyro being so efficient when he's able to find a big hit and, and actually take it to like the true kill each time. Here comes a bit of a Ooh, didn't quite find the right conversion there, but yeah, you're totally right. These combos, this is kind of the strength of Luigi on this stage too, right? And we, we mentioned that neutral might be a little bit more linear, but there are chain grabs and stuff like that and, and kind of easy conversions with these soft nares. Oh, maybe you can find the conversion here. Ooh, and I like Reach. Uh, Reach has been playing super aggressive throughout the set, but then every now and then just pulls back right when he realizes that Mad Tyro's looking to punish over aggression, and he's able to make his way out a lot of times. But great edge guard from Mad Tyro. Again, up two stocks to one. Oh my god. <laughs> That's actually really good because uh, Luigi's been doing this exact same mix up every single time where he kind of wave dashes right into center stage and spot dodges, and then he either goes left or right. And so he's like, he's hard to grab, and you have to read if he's going left or right. But Reach was like, nah, you're not allowed to come into the middle of the stage first. And he just down smashes, which hits both sides. So I'm pretty sure that was a very conscious adaptation to the way Mad Tower has been playing against Invincibility. Yeah, and I feel like Reach has been very cognizant of the Invincibility gameplay uh, mm -hmm. this entire set. And so to see that pull out once again looks really nice. The dash dance to make sure that yep. he's not going to Luigi Nair out, really, really nice. Yep, and that's kind of this little mini game. Oh my god, he finds the misfire. Is that just going to be the whole game right here? Oh! Up throw, doesn't get the reverse on the down air though, so it gives him one more chance. The air dodge out, doesn't get the reverse on this down air, doesn't need it, I guess. Okay. Gets one more chance, this could be the conversion he needs. All right, Reach again playing conservatively, willing to take the oh, corner situation. Ah! Fully Actually. charged! <laughs> Insane ending from both players, from like the misfire, the fully charged up smash, there's so much going on there. Oh. Reach with the slightly more clutch, I guess. More lucky? I don't know. That was too giga brain for me to understand, but he fully well, charges an up smash and uh, catches Luigi falling into it. And there you go. Falcon's well, on the board. <laughs> so, so was that a turning winner from Luigi or? I think so. It might have been an intentional turning winner. I think Luigi's is okay. Eh, no, probably not. He probably just wants to ledge smash every time. Okay. But, yeah. So, kind of crazy. <laughs> and he like fell into it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> All right. Well, game three, uh, Dreamland. Uh, I actually almost expected Mad Tyro to just go back to FD, but yeah, um, here we are. <laughs> yeah, watch the bigger stage, I guess. He's been pretty efficient with the edge guard, so take the bigger stage and still get the kills. Then we find it that time. Reach gets back to center stage, and uh, now he's the one racking up a ton of damage. Oh! Interesting choice to go for the knee there. I, I almost wonder if he would have preferred a stomp uh, yeah. to, to just get Luigi down in an attack situation. Or even a back air. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> True. He went for like the up right? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> okay. I just get terrified after seeing him get hit by a misfire and he's just going out there. This time he's kind of spaced for it. Softy and hardy, I think is what that was. Finishes yeah. off. Yeah. All right, good stuff for <laughs> All right, so four stocks to three. Mad Tyro playing with, at a bit of a deficit, but not very much of one. Uh, could be pretty easy to close this out. Matt Tyro finding the up tilts. We, we talked about the, the wave dash forward up smash, but actually Matt Tyro's been looking for that up tilt a lot instead. Yeah. There we see it again. Um, any thoughts on why that's working out so well for him? Yeah, I think that's a percent thing, where I just higher percent is mm. up tilt, and then it's really up smash. And uh, there might be a speed thing as well. Uh, up tilt comes out a little bit faster, but the, the counterpoint to that is that I mentioned before that sometimes we do the wave dash forward and just charge the up smash. And that mm. takes away a lot of the startup for the up smash. The Rodney, but another misfire. He can't keep getting away with it. I think and, and he was down to trade stocks there, but the, 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 the misfire got him out of the situation entirely. <laughs> yeah, and, and that dare would have hit a non-misfire, right? Like it was it so, was timed yeah. for it, I, I, I'm pretty sure. So, okay, Reach able to get the down throw knee to, to clean it up and maintain a full stock lead. Uh, again, like that use of invincibility to sort of create a checkmate scenario, looking really strong from Reach. Yep. So pretty good stuff. I think the throw follow-ups are pretty interesting in this match as well. At low percent, Falcon doesn't get true true follow-ups, but Luigi is just in such a doomed space. He saw the like down throw and a dash dance and a big grab, right? And there's no way you can avoid that. Um, oh my god, Luigi just running slowly through. <laughs> and then uh, 
just to finish that thought is that at higher percents, down throw knee is like not a true combo versus most BIs, but it's basically unavoidable anyways, right? Like he mm -hmm. has to play a very losing mix of <laughs> Ooh, and Mad Tyro making great use of these side platform combos, just floating around, getting a bunch of different things, right? It, oh. Earlier it was just the Oh my god, he closes it out with that stomp. Impressive. Three stocks to one. Yeah, kind of shades of what he was running for last talk. Not, not mm. quite the same scenario, but still going way out there with the stomp and just finding the connection this time. Now he has a whole stock lead going into this. Reached on the last stock. Really good into the up air, into the gentleman getting a ton of damage. And Luigi struggling to kind of combo break these. As, uh, he often just kind of flails out and gets hit right back into the combo. Mm -hmm. and, and also sometimes doesn't swing. And it seems like Reach just has a great read on when, when he's going to swing, when he's not, and is able to punish both ways around. The soft knee can't find the big com combo finisher, but still in a great spot. Ooh, that was that incremental stuff you were looking for Mad Tyro earlier, taking a couple short wave dashes, at least for Luigi short, and, yeah. <laughs> and taking space, right? I, I really like to see that. Luigi loses the jump here, gets another misfire, but this one is a bit of a cursed one as it uh, just puts you right into Captain Falcon's charged knee and kills, damn. All right, two games in a row for Reach, looking really strong here. These long, large stages seem to be working out really well for Falcon. I wonder if we're going to see like a Fountain of Dreams or even a Yoshi story here going into game four. Mm -hmm. Totally possible, or just an FD again, right? <laughs> totally sure, possible. yeah, right? So that game is really close, and yeah, it is back after Almost uh, like we weren't ready, but then <laughs> Yeah, seems like it's fine. Oh, in an early grab, we talked about how doomed of a situation this can be. Oh, Matt Tyro is able to get out and get a crazy combo. Holy moly. Still going. 95. Like finding the reverse down and send it back off stage. Getting another up throw. Finding the reverse down again. Honestly, potentially why he lost the last game was like two down airs that didn't reverse and like didn't lead to edge guard scenarios. So it's good to see he's kind of picking that up right here. Doesn't quite get the S guard though. Let's see if uh, Falcon can capitalize and take the stock first. Not quite. Cool. And it felt so strong to come out swinging in the beginning of this first stock. But even though he's not put himself in a terrible position yet, I feel like Mad Tyro missing out on closing out that stock is just such a momentum killer. Mm -hmm. He finds it now, but had to work all the way to 170%. And these invincibilities have looked really no good for Reach. I like I like how conservative uh, Mad Tyro was. It looked a little silly to go all the way to ledge, but yeah. with how Reach has been playing it, I'm fine with that. Yeah, I also think Luigi's pretty good on the ledge. Uh, mm -hmm. it's like you kind of have to respect quite a lot of space to respect the ledge dash up smash. And if Luigi then starts mixing in things like ledge dash down, it becomes like really hard to actually. Like, so Mad Tyro looking pretty good this time. Yeah, and once again, we see Mad Tyro get that sort of ridiculous FD combo started, but isn't able to find the down smash uh, that he goes for off of the tech in. Um, that seemed to have been the, like, get out of jail free card for Reach so far in those combos. Yeah, yeah I'm not super familiar with the, like, chain grab or FD punish mm -hmm. low charge on Falcon. I know that uh, I looked it up a long time ago against Falcon in particular, and it's, it's like way more complex than you expect. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's not straight up like chain grab for the most part. It tends to be like combo and a grab and a combo and a grab and a combo. And a grab and a grab and a except for very specific DIs. Okay? So mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if Falcon's weight makes it a little bit easier to get two follow ups. Perfect timing on the releasing of the side B, but also technically perfect call out release because it, it just lets really easy. Yeah, so Reach is going to take that. It is three stocks to two, but super high percent. So looks like we're at a super even game as Reach gets forced off stage. But no, another recovery. Mad Tyro has not been able to find the drift there, and that's been a big problem here. Yeah, this 177% is higher than you ever want the opponent to be at. <laughs> mm -hmm. Might be enough to kill here. Had the forward air there. Couldn't quite call out the drift. Another kill with the nair. That's two for two. Killing off the top with the nair. Uh, I mean, it's good to have that kill confirmed, but you'd love to not have to right? <laughs> yeah, and, and when your opponent's average death percent is like 185, like, yeah. you're kind of crying, right? Like, that's not good. <laughs> well, but maybe able to kind of lower that average a little bit here, cobbling up to 96, let's see. Now Reach mm. turn into his own combo right away. Yeah, good reversal there by Reach, and a second reversal coming off the ledge with a Nair. Ah! Oh, <laughs> tried to make something happen there. But not quite. The edge guard should be good. Yeah, Mad Tyro takes his earliest stock so far, two stocks to one. Ooh, kind of a yeah. They're kind of reversal back and forth, right? Because that mm -hmm. last stock was like you mentioned it was a reversal, and then 
it kind of turned into more reversals off stage and then Tyro's the first one to take it, comes back, loses the stock immediately. Now we're even. Last stock situation here, see if Tyro can make something happen here to kind of bring it back and force game five. Okay, he gets the down smash in this time, but it looked like really good DI from Reach to slide out of that and be able to get the counter punch. Ooh, punishes another down smash. Matt Tyro kind of feeling like he's swinging now. And yes, 